Hello guys and welcome to another unboxing and review video and today we're taking a look at the Clone Trooper from Attack of the Clones 20th Anniversary Edition and let me tell you guys I'm so excited to have this figure in my collection and I can't wait to show you all the details but before we start if you want to get this figure or any other collectibles make sure you check out Comic Concepts I put the link down below make sure you use the code Comic Concepts 10 and you can save 10% store wide Alright guys, enough of the talking, let's start with the unboxing, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, and here we have the box, you can see the front with the clone trooper here, this is the back of the box with the cursor warning, small pieces, do not eat it. Now, let me remove this cover because yes, this is a cover, because underneath is the beauty. This is the 20th anniversary packaging, and let me tell you, I love it. I don't really want to open this thing. I want to leave it here. You can see the logo there. This is the side of the box with a nice picture of the clone trooper there. You can pause it if you want to read that. This is the back of the box with a very nice art box there. Some more information. This is the other side with the Star Wars logo and of course the 20th anniversary edition of Attack of the Clone and that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so now let me lay this down and remove the packaging so you guys can see here we have the box so let me open this baby up and take a look at everything this figure comes with and let me tell you guys this art box is very nice i wish every release is exactly like this now let me remove the cover here because we have one tray in the front as you can see spoilers we have the hands and of course the backpack looking very nice and don't worry i'm gonna show you everything in the accessory section and the first thing is the brand new smell of a hot toys all right so let me remove the figure here and it does look really nice you can see the clone trooper looking cool of course we have a bunch of accessories behind it you can see i'm gonna take the plastic out and that's pretty much it all right guys so now let me take everything out and take a closer look at the accessories all right guys and here we have everything this figure comes with and yes we're gonna start with the base and everything was beautiful until we get this base similar plain nothing new nothing spectacular so it is a base we're gonna live with that all right guys so now let me show you this helmet here and this one looks very nice i really like the paint application on this one you can see weathering on the side of course those blue patterns at the bottom this is the other side looking really cool and of course the top of the helmet now that's pretty much it now let's move on to the backpack here and similar to the helmet we have a lot of weathering throughout the backpack you can see the stripes here looking really cool this is the bottom you can see this little uh, piece there and of course you can put things inside if you want we don't have nothing to put so <laughs> go figure so that's pretty much it for the backpack now moving down to the weapons here so we have this rifle please forgive me i don't know the technical name so if you know please let me know in the comments below because i suck at this <laughs> all right so you can see nicely painted and weathered now moving on to the other one this is like a cannon i believe so you can see that uh looking pretty cool i kind of like these designs you know one thing about the clone troopers is like the weapons are sick so very cool very nice then we have this blaster here and as you can see very nicely painted with this metallic uh, color there this is the other side and of course this thing has a little gimmick that you can move this up and down like so so not bad it's a blaster so <laughs> and that's pretty much it then we have a bunch of hands so i'm going to show you just a couple so you get the idea these are the two hands not just sculpted and of course painted and that's basically it all right guys so now let's take a look at the figure here and yes this thing looks very nice i don't know if it's like the weathering the the actual look it does look nice let me get my tape and see how tall this figure actually is and the clone trooper is about 12 inches tall so you can army build this all right guys so now let's take a closer look at the details now and we're gonna start with the first uh helmet here so you can see nasty painted love the weathering they kind of combine the white with the weathering so this is not pristine clean you have some dirt and that's what i like about this this is the back nasty designed 
this is the other side with some patterns at the bottom of the helmet and of course the top looking really nice now the armor very similar to any other clone trooper you can see it is nicely done now they had toys learned the lesson and they pretty much took the same body as the 501st Battalion and because that body was really nice so every clone trooper I've seen since they released that one has been perfect and this one is no exception whatsoever you have enough room for articulation you can see the whole armor is nicely painted so very cool I love this weathering with this dirt underneath even the underneath the feet is nicely done you can see the back of the trooper of course you can see the booty and the detail on the back and the belt that looks pretty cool if you ask me you can see the the room that you have for the articulation so that's good and that's pretty much it now for articulation guys you can move the head up and down this much and to the sides this much it's a ball peg so you can do whatever you want you can lift the arm for about this much you can pull it forward for about this much and not bad and back for about this much now you can bend the elbow maybe a bit more but that's pretty much it and peg articulation on the hand so not bad now for the torso you have some swivel and just a little bit of up crunch because again the two armors ratchet joints on the legs you can uh, lift it forward for about this much and back for about this much now you can bend the knee like so again ratchet it and the feet or the peg articulation on the feet and that's pretty much it now boom let me show you the other headscope here and or helmet rather and it does look pretty cool as well as you can see proportion wise very happy we you know already discussed this helmet in the accessory section but you get the idea it looks pretty cool in the back and pretty cool in the front so that's basically it for the figure now let's do some comparison here and here we have the clone trooper next to luke skywalker and yes that's a bad I suppose and yes it looks cool then we have princess leia and of course she's uh, smaller compared to the clone trooper and last but not least boom boba fett from empire stress back fourth anniversary so i decided to keep this one because it's kind of cool and that's basically it all right guys so now let's do some poses here and see what can we do with this thing because articulation wise is very good so that's a huge plus for uh, for a clone trooper so we're gonna start very easy this pose here holding the blaster wearing the um the backpack as you can see it does look pretty cool i kind of like this uh figure honestly i don't know should i keep it or not i don't know <laughs> now let's take a look at the back and as you can see the detail looks amazing uh this pose is kind of it's kind of cool you know i may i may leave it this way but you can see the figure there it does look pretty cool with the details and of course that paint application on the backpack the the weathering is really nice and that's pretty much it for this one now let's do another pose and this one here is basically holding the uh cannon here right and again looks pretty simple pretty cool you can do a lot of poses with this thing obviously you have to take your time because some limitations you may have when uh you pose this thing because of the armor but other than that i think you can definitely manage and pull really cool poses with this figure then for the next pose we have another very easy one this one actually i took inspiration from the actual blogger pictures so i was kind of lazy but uh it does, it does look pretty cool right we have the backpack there obviously the lone rifle now you can see the weather in here it does look really nice there's something that i really like about this thing is the weathering so usually when they do troopers are very clean this one is not so it looks pretty cool right you can see the helmet there a little close up so you can take a look at the details and that's basically it all right guys so now last pose here we have the clone trooper holding the cannon and of course the blaster here and not for nothing but i think the background lights are cool <laughs> i kind of like that orange color in the back so it does look pretty cool as you can see here a lot of details on the helmet as we mentioned before so very happy overall guys this figure is very nice to pose so you wouldn't have any issues whatsoever all right guys my final thoughts about this figure is actually very positive 
Start with the likeness, I think this is a really good representation of the clone trooper as seen in the Attack of the Clone movie. Now this figure comes with a lot of accessories so that's a huge plus, especially with those three weapons, the backpack and the alternative helmet. Then for the articulation, you can definitely pull really cool poses with this figure because let me tell you, despite the fact that this thing is 90% armor, possibilities are very good. You can do really nice poses with this. And because of that, my final score is 9 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also guys, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Facebook group, and TikTok, Manafa Collectibles. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well, and see you around in the next video.